Hello and welcome to my Hasabara Advanced Guide. So Hasabara actually has a few interesting things about her kit that are kind of neat. They're not like hard to carry type of power, but they have like there's some interesting things she can do. Uh, so to begin, let's start off with her best items. Uh, speed items are generally good on every unit, uh, especially Hasabara. She generally can kind of run around and smack things with her staff. I almost didn't really know what to call it for a second, but she has like a kind of like staff thing. So she can like whack enemies with her staff. She can gain TP from trekking for TP. Uh, she generally wants more turns. Her speed of 26 is okay, but I would say at minimum she wants at least like a speed amulet or a speed bracelet. And for her other item, it can be a res earring because sometimes she's in the fray, sometimes she gets focus. Um, res earring can be fine, endurance earring can be fine. Uh, strength item, maybe, kind of situational, I wouldn't really do it, but I would say speed and, and then, like, you know, durability. So HP bracelet is fine, res earring is fine. So, okay, why does she want a res earring? So she's going to be in danger, and she has, like, a few different things she can do. Um, she also has desperate defense, so putting a res earring on her, you essentially get two triggers of desperate defense that drastically increase your durability. Uh, if you don't want to run a speed item, uh, another good item would be Endurance Earring. So let's actually do that. Wherever it is. It's in here somewhere. <laughs> here it is, alright. So that with what this does, uh, you take half damage at, at or below 50%. This stacks with Desperate Defense, so she will take quarter damage. So between these two, she's now very tanky. Alright, so we have our tanky Hasabara. Uh, you can either use the Be Brave... Uh, heal increase or the HP recovery for two. Both are fine. HP recovery for two is pretty interesting. I actually prefer it. I'll go over what it does in a second. All right, so in my opinion, her best skill is catapult. Uh, what it allows you to do is to throw an ally. You can also throw them onto high ground. It gives them magic and physical defense increase for three turns, and it lets you reposition a unit. This is really good for throwing units like Archibald, Rudolph, or Trish to high ground, or for throwing... Eridor or Grama in range of enemies so they can use Fury. So that's like her best skill in my opinion. And aside from that, I would say Be Brave is okay. So like, let's look at her kit really quick. So Be Brave, it's a decent heal. If we compare it to... Jilo, there she is. If we compare it to Sanctuary, it's, it's like similar to Sanctuary, except Sanctuary can also hit a fifth target in the center, whereas Be Brave just hits everyone but Hasabara. Uh, so Sanctuary is much safer to use because it can be used at range, uh, but Be Brave can be good, especially if you have a bunch of tanks or something, or like units that are putting like shutdown or fury on enemies, then you can just run up to the, your dudes and heal them and it's fine. Um, she can also do one, one, all right, so here's one big upside to Hasabara. Uh, I know she's not like one of my favorite units. Um, I don't really think she does like a ton that justifies running her, but she's viable. She's not like terrible. She's not like bad. Um, she, there is a, there is a case to be made for her. Uh, so she has pretty good single target damage, especially when getting back crits. She has dam a slight damage increase from up and up when at five TP. Uh, cleave is actually decent. It's similar to Rush. It can trigger multiple back crits. It can trigger multiple follow-up attacks similar to Rush. Costs 2 TP. She can do th one of three things each turn for free without a battery because she can trek. And as long as she can move five or more tiles, she can always cleave, be brave, or push back. Push back has pretty good single target spike. Hitting an enemy in the back with this is huge. Getting them to clash into things is good. Pushing things off a high ground is good. The same, same reason why it's good on Roland. Uh, he has push back as well. Uh, she has a little bit higher base damage than Roland, but he can passively hit two things, so that's like the difference between them. Uh, her basic attack against single target will be a little bit better. Uh, generally, I don't know. She's kind of. I feel like she's not as good as Roland because Roland sells four dragons, flash of steel, and opportune attack. So like, if Roland runs up to something, then you know he triggers opportune attack. Him stabbing something in the back with his increased crit damage usually will out damage Hasabara by a lot. So. But anyways, she's still, she still she has some healing, she has some damage, she has some utility. So she has enough to the table. She also has Desperate Defenses, which is massive. This is a really good ability. You take half damage below half health. So pretty crazy. Add her below half. So, all right, so let's go over 
uh, trekking really quick. So the main thing you can do with Hasselbara to always trek every turn. So like, let's say you know these enemies are going to advance on you because they are. So you can run forward, which in this case we actually can because we have insane, <laughs> we have endurance earring and res earring, so this is actually totally fine. Uh, or you could like run to a flank so you can like pull an enemy. That's another idea. Uh, but you can rush in. You can like move back. You can move back and forth. You don't have to move six. So like you can just move five in this case to, to trigger it. So she could also just move here, which should be five. So it's like you can count the tiles always like one, two, three, four, five. So she can move here and trigger trekking. But generally every turn you want to do trekking. The reason for this is it keeps your TP high and you just get a damage increase. And you, just, you can just always do things. You always want to be in a position where you can do things. And she's one of the few units, there's a, like a handful of units that are really good without battery. She's one of those units. Alright, let's just shoot this dude, the basic attack for fun. Okay, so Desperate Defense is one of the strongest passes in the game. Taking half damage at or below 50% is insane. Uh, so, you know, if you were to take 300 damage, now you just take 150, even if it's a spell. So it's pretty nuts. And when combined with endurance earring, they stack. So instead of taking uh, three hundred, or instead of taking one hundred fifty, I think you just take what was it like sixty-seven. So let me calculate that out. So what do you do just to do the math? You just take three hundred times 0. 0.5 times 0. 0.5. Oh, it's seventy-five. Okay, yeah. So quarters the damage, right? So having both of those makes her insanely tanky. So her, like, when she's above 50, she'll just take normal damage, but when she's below 50, she'll take quarter damage, which is nuts. Avlora also has this, and so does Eridor. So putting Endurance Earring on any of those units, any unit with Desperate Defense, is always going to be insane. Res Earring on top of that, and then you can throw a Gila Res on her, and now you have a tanky damage dealer. So there is a use case for her. Now, someone just mentioned in the comments on one of my videos how, like, there's, like, my tier lists are kind of misleading where most things are in like A or S tier and then there's like two SS tiers. And the thing is, tier lists aren't always like relative. Like I think in terms of a competitive game like Smash Bros, you're gonna have units that are like D tier for the most part. And it could be because no one knows how to use them or because no one's putting the thousand hours or whatever, thousands of hours to get good with them. Uh, but in this game, as long as you understand how to use a unit effectively and the objective effect of that unit is high as like big value then there's an upside of using that unit so like the way i do tier list it's like a tier b tier is like situationally good a tier is always good s tier is always like great or maybe slightly overpowered and ss is broken slash extremely overpowered and then c tier is like kind of mediocre kind of okay something like usually bad rarely good d tier is like kind of like pretty bad and then f tier e tier would be like really bad terrible don't use it but no units in this game are that bad like there aren't any c tiers there are no units that are, like if a unit just spams items all day it's a good unit it's a b tier because items are good items can do everything you can set oil on fire you can create oil fire traps you can create ice tiles you can heal you can remove conditions uh you can buff or debuff depending on what you need so even if a unit just does nothing but spam items, it's at least a B tier. And that's that's just how the game is. Like, and, and I mean, by B tier, I mean it's usually good, right? So like if Benedict just runs up here, let's, let's, let's assume he has no abilities at all, and he just runs up to this enemy and just throws a Thunderstone at it for 106 damage. That's decent. Alright, so let's see. Let's do a basic attack. So it's like slightly less damage than a basic Serenoa nice. attack. However, that was like an exception. Like usually you can AoE and get more damage off with elemental stones. But just an uh, just a unit item spamming tends to be really good. Right, let's push back. Actually, it's four dragons, I guess. Cool. Okay, so let's go back to the Hasabara guide. Okay. So Hasabara is a great flanker because of her kit. Uh, essentially what she is, is she's more offense oriented. So this map you can't really flank on, right? Cause you're just pushing down the center and like enemies kind of spawn in everywhere. So there's no flanking, but on like most actual story mode mission maps, you have like flanking. So you can take uh, Roland, 
Anna, Milo, Trish, Huet, Maxwell, Picoletta, um, units that have like high mobility and they can flank with Hasabara. They can also kind of defend Hasabara. You know, like Milo can put CC on things. Huet can blind things. Uh, Roland can nuke things down. Maxwell can nuke things down and off tank. So like she can kind of be like a damage unit that also helps heal in this sort of situation. Cause her damage is actually decent when she gets backstabs. But even right there. Oh yeah, was that a backstab? No, that was not. That was a random crit. Uh, you can tell she has some decent damage. Um, all right, so let's heal her. Allow me. Thank you, friend. Your orders. So one thing that is good about her is her passive. It's an aura ability. You either make be brave heal for more, or you get HP recovery for two. So HP recovery for two. If another unit causes Hasabara to do a follow-up attack, both get healed 10% of their max HP. So check this out. So they both got healed. So the reason why this is good is if Hasabara is an off tank and she's taking chip damage and all of your units, including archers, trigger follow-up attacks, you can all heal each other, like chip heal each other, and especially Hasabara. So if five units trigger follow-up attacks with Hasabara, she gets healed for like 250 health. So this kind of mitigates her down, her, like one of her main downsides, which is that she can't heal herself with Be Brave, but she can heal other units with Be Brave and then just be positioned near enemies and then all of those other allies on your team can trigger her Time for some research. HP recovery for two, healing her. And then also if she has, you know, Desperate Defense plus Endurance, Earring and a Res, she's not dying. And even if she does, it's going to take a lot to kill her twice. So you'd have to, like, really fuck up to get her killed twice, essentially. Alright, so... You can hit multiple things with Cleave, as well as trigger multiple back crits and follow-up attacks. This will not trigger HP recovery for two. If Hasabara initiates the attack, it does not trigger HP recovery for two. So just keep that in mind. That's the big thing with her, um, with that ability. Other things have to hit and she has to be near them. So putting tank on her makes the most sense. Because now also these units are getting chip healed and they're chip healing Hasabara constantly. And she's getting extra damage in. Uh, one of her big upsides is her strength is decent and her base damage is actually quite high. So her getting fall up attacks is meaningful damage on top of the chip heal. So overall the kit isn't as bad as it seems. Like this Be Brave right now. Uh, it's being boosted by up and up. So you deal more damage the more TP you have. I'm pretty sure it affects spells because this seems to be higher. 164. That's actually pretty good. That's a pretty good heal. For uh, like up to four allies, that's pretty decent. So, and she's always at high TP. You need, like she she's one of the one of the best units to run for a no battery comp if you don't want to run Julio and Medina. This is usually done for a challenge. Um, all right, we'll just have you just chill out, I guess. Okay, so... Archers can also trigger the heal for two. This is actually huge. Or any, like a Grama using her energy wave can trigger it. Any, like a ball toss can trigger it as well. So a lot of units that have like ranged melee attacks, like lance hurl, ball toss, energy wave, stuff like this. Even spear attacks. Spear attacks over allies or enemies can trigger it. Uh, archer attacks can trigger it. Uh, things that won't trigger it, or like like pretty much anything that can trigger a follow-up attack can can heal, regardless of the range. So archers can be really far away and then get a follow-up attack off of Hasabara, and then they will get chip healed for it, which is pretty cool. So, something, something to consider. If anything, this makes her more interesting as a unit mechanically being able to chip heal just by being next to things because if she's already going to be off tanking that's what she, that's where she's going to be and on top of having pretty decent aoe and pushback like this is actually a decent kit um kind of touching back to the power creep tier list thing like i guess in terms of relative strength we could try to come up with a tiering system for dang that accuracy just throw a stone for more damage. That sucks. I could have uh, moved next to him too. I didn't have to move in front. Let me heal your wounds. Um, but like the tearing thing, it, it's like this, right? Like I, I could split things apart so that 
certain units are higher or lower. She's taking a ton of damage because she's above 50. Uh, I could I could make it so that there's like a D, like units in a D tier, but then I would have to. The, the, the criteria would be weird, right? Because like some things are just objectively good. And if you understand how to use something and it's good, you can't just like decide it's bad arbitrarily. Like there has to be a reason why something's in D tier. Like Huet, I always put an S tier because she's insane. Like she can just do everything. Not another step. So she missed that immobilize, but even when it misses, it still does damage. It still does like good damage. So, all right, we'll start this going. Smack him. Let us pry out their weakness. Then we can just start doing stuff like this, which is hilarious. And the thing is, that's more damage than if I would have just thrown a single target stone. And it also just heals Hasabara. So it's not like that's bad. Like, she can even just hang out with the team and just catch chip heals. And you can always throw, like, a Gila res on her, so she has, like, three reses. And you should be more than fine. Uh, but, like, the main argument for things even being in, like, C tier, like, you'd have to prove a unit's bad. But it's kind of hard to do that, because most units aren't bad. Like, even Hasabara, who most people consider to be the worst unit in the game, honestly, I think if you played optimally with her and you ran, like, no battery teams, uh, I'll show what that is, too. I'll retreat and show that. I think she actually could be, like, a B plus, or maybe even... But I don't want to say she could be A tier. I don't know that she could get that high. Because her kid is, like, I don't know. It's not, like, the best thing. So here's what like, like what the comp this this comp is pretty close to be honest. I would probably just drop Corentin. So this would be let's drop Corentin. Uh, let's just do let's do ten units just to show like what you would run I live to see. for like a hyper aggressive comp that doesn't use healers or batteries and shit like that. Probably this. Or no, we need a tank. Hold on. So Piccolet is good off tank. Uh, you could run Grama on this, actually. This actually would be... Well, no. Grama needs ice. You could run Eridor. I think Eridor makes sense here. Uh, we would drop... You could drop Benedict for Eridor. Oh, you don't need Archibald, either. We drop him. So, let's say... Where's Eridor? He should run here somewhere. He should be, at least. Sometimes it, like, moves him around weird. I don't know I'm not seeing him. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, let me, oh, there he is. I just saw him. There he is. Alright, cool. To battle with okay, so here's an example of a comp you could run with Hasabara. Uh, so, like, like, let's say this is a, you know, nine-person team. So the idea with this comp, it's very simple. So this is this would be uh, Piccoletta makes decoys and spams items. She's kind of like your mage. Uh, Huet spams blind, shadow stitching, shooting star as needed. Uh, Roland is, you know, like, you know, rush spammer. Eridor provokes everything, setting up easy cleaves and rush spam. Uh, Milo fills in the gaps between mist provokes and tempts things and can also jump out and tempt like enemy mages to protect Eridor. Saranoa to shielding stance Eridor. Anna can be an invis healer or a single target nuker or item spammer. Uh, so you have AoE from these two every turn, uh, you have AoE from Roland every other turn in Rush, or just every turn in a stab, and then you have AoE from Hospara every turn, uh, Huet's single target. This team would be pretty good. Uh, you could also, if you if you had like 10 slots, you could even run Grama if you really feel like it. Uh, and she would actually be fine on this team too. You could actually replace Eridor with Grama, and it would actually be fine. It doesn't seem like that, but... Leave the battlefield to me. Uh, wouldn't there be one change though? Actually, no. You could just you could use an evasion item. Get her, get her. That'll get her to 91 evasion. And she's pretty evasive. And then you throw Gila Res on Grama and Gila Res on Hasabara, and then long term Gila Res on Roland. Uh, you kind of have people spot heal and a spot heals, and Gila just builds up Res. Uh, you could do something like this. You could even drop Gila to be honest, and then Anna heals. Like, you can get pretty crazy with team comps, and it's very effective. It doesn't seem like it would be. Like, you could even run this. You'd be fine. Like, you could, like everything is viable. Like, so when everything is viable in a game, it's hard to say things are bad. It's hard to say things are a C or a D tier. Things have to actually be bad to be bad, right? 
Like, people, a lot of people think Grom is bad. Honestly, my opinion's changed on her a bit now that I realize sweeping kicks 50%, not 30. I, I was operating under the, under the assumption it was 30 because for whatever reason during testing, it came up as 30. Um, maybe she was just not max level. Maybe enemies were over-leveled, and that's like just misinformation on my part. But 50% hit up to three things, immobilize for two turns, that's pretty fucking good. Uh, just just getting her evasion up with an evasion spice, you get 91 evasion, you're very hard to hit. You have your item spam units, throw down ice tiles, and then she's like very unhittable. And then on top of that, you can just throw like a Gila res or whatever. Uh, honestly, you could probably get away with her being like this, because things aren't going to attack her unless they're furied, and if they're furied, she's fine, because they can't use attack skills, so... You have Tempt. Like, this team comp would be viable. It doesn't, like, you wouldn't think so, though. Because we don't have an official healer, but Anna can heal. And so can uh, Piccoletta, because Piccoletta has six moves, so she can run up, and she's tanky and evasion tanky, so is Anna. So we have four units that are evasion tanky, and then all these mounted units. This is a hyper-mobile, like, super-aggressive team. And Eridor, you're, like, you're probably thinking, how is Eridor going to get moved up? He's going to be thrown. So here, I'll just show this, just for fun. But there aren't really bad team comps. Like, you can make anything good, essentially. Even if you pitched me the worst units, I could still make a good team comp out of it. Too many things are viable on hard mode, therefore things place high on tier list. So, all right, so one of the big upsides, you know, the catapult thing, we went over that. But I'll show it. Shall we dance? Just really quickly. Leave everything to me. Gotta take it on the yet. Shall I? My turn. I could be up more. Like I don't have to be like cautious, because like they're 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 staggered. So we can let them we can straight up let them hit us. And I can also do something like this and just waste their first turn. By forcing them to attack that decoy, they're gonna move. Well, potentially, yeah. Yeah, so they're both gonna waste their turns attacking a decoy. That's, this, dude, this comp is totally viable. Then she item spams. No, zero battery, zero healer. Damage right away from that. For this. Provoke. For one TP, you can do it every turn. We caught one of them. Grama can get the other one. Dude, Grama and Eridor actually might be a really legit, like, shutdown thing. And then also, like, all right, here's, here's how Anna's insane. Just fucking start doing this shit. <laughs> Get some ice tiles down. And then we'll do tar single target. 180 damage from mana. Single target. For zero TP. And then if you want... Like, some shit is- like, too much- oh, whoops. That was a mistake. I meant to move a tile in. Whatever, we'll just throw an item now. My bad. I meant to do something else, but we can just do this now. Lure in. You want to face them the if you can. Body block. Alright, she can kind of do whatever. But you can see how ridiculous, like, like even Piccoletta spamming items is like A tier. Like, look at that, that's, that's ridiculous. That's way too good. And then we can do shit like this. Um... He missed the one dude because he was on ice, but that's in, you know, that'll happen. Roland does need some accuracy help to some degree. Um, I guess I'll just kill this guy. Actually, I probably can just go over here. Let's see if it's enough. It's not. I can throw an item though. <laughs> that's the other thing too. You can always just throw a stone. Alright, and then Hasabara can be kind of like an off healer. You can just smack this for fun. Trek for TP. Alright, Roland's pretty in danger. I don't even know if he has items. I don't know what his items are. I just like turned him on. I don't know what his shit is. I usually put res and accuracy bracelet on Roland. I think that's his best. Those are his best two items. Time to work. He has literally no items. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, then Anna. Deadly Blaze. 
crit, follow-up attack crit. He's dead now. Like, you can just fucking wreck shit with, like, almost anything in this game that's insane. And then you can, like, spot heal <laughs> with, like, a tank. Like, anyone can spot heal. There you go, buddy. But I'm, I'm doing this to kind of make the point that everything is viable. I don't think people like that, though, because people want things to be good and bad. <laughs> but, like, Milo's obviously insane because 80% temp is nuts. Like, there's no... And then you can Fury things. I could Skyward Fist this for pretty good damage. Can you handle? I don't pull my punches. Look at that. I comboed off of... I comboed off of an enemy who was tempted. Look at this. This is... Everything is good. Like, nothing is... Even Grom was good. I'll be the first to say I was somewhat wrong about your armor. Look at, dude, look at Pigalotta just shredding them with, with items. It's ridiculous. 171 times two. That's two, that's 340 damage. Okay. You can't tell me that's not A tier. And she out damages Narv who gets battery. That's ridiculous. I won't lose. All right, and then he won't lose, which is good. Because he shouldn't lose. All right, lethal off a of pushback. Like, everything's good. Like, there aren't units that suck, really. There's units that are, like, suboptimal, but they're, they're not, like, terrible. And then Anna can be, like, a healer. That's actually how you can use her in this type of situation. Look at this. <laughs> There's, like, no downside to doing this. And then Huet can just continue to do her thing. I don't like those odds, actually. Let's see. I don't think I can shooting star this archer, though. What we can do, though... Or not that. Focus. Focus. And then go for it. 100% accuracy now. And immobilize. Also a crit. <laughs> oh, what? You wanted to fight us? That's interesting. Now you're immobilized and dropped. <laughs> Dude, everything is good. Like... I don't know what to say. I think I'll do a, like a definitive tier list because I'm almost done with these advanced guides, and I think um, I'll have like, I'll have some difference or different opinions on some things. Oh wait, whoo, baby, whoo! That's disgusting. It's insane. Like, what do you... Like, they're not going to attack me. She's magic defense tank. They're going to attack this guy now. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> and then for Piccoletta, it's like, just make a decoy. We're, we're running no battery right now. And it's totally fine. You don't even need a battery. I'm just going to flex on these dudes. <laughs> Some Grama flex. <laughs> and Anna... Take Sorry this. to worry you. Take Sorry this. to worry you. But where shall we strike? Now I end this. Like everything's good. Uh, all right, so that's that's the end of the Hasabara guide, I would say. Um, I think it might. It's like a little useful to kind of see her used in action. So maybe I'll do like, I'll do like one or two more turns of her. I think that's fine. But definitely like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. Um, and that's pretty much it for that. Um, this guy looks like he... I hope this hits. Out of my way. Oh, damn it. The low hit. He needs his accuracy bracelet. It gives him plus 10 hit, which is usually more than enough. I didn't have to push him back either. Uh, maybe hit you. Not another step. Nice, they, dude. Who? That's insane. Just all these, da all this damage plus immobilize. And then, all right, that's just four. Hasabara. So she's very tanky right now. She can be brave. She's like the. She's kind of like the healer. Like Anna and her kind of add up to an entire healer. Which is pretty good.
<laughs> that guy's just down there. Alright, Picoletta. Can drop ice stones, reducing their movements while damaging them. My turn. Alright, and then Anna. Can do a lot. See, I can do this. I don't even have to. I can just do this just as like a flex. Alright, he's just debuffed now, so when his thing ends. And then I can hit him, that might break his thing now. It didn't! Nice, so we just got damage out. And it's ridiculous too. Like, all these units are just like really overpowered, <laughs> to be honest. Alright, and then she can lure in this guy. Oh, 90% failed. Eh, what are you gonna do? Can't win them all. Just smack this guy. <laughs> got a little birds coming in, that's unfortunate. Our tank is just up here on the roof. <laughs> Sprint, standard stuff, get back down. I, I meant to flip him around, but... Alright, he's immobilized. <laughs> What's he gonna do, right? Go, decoy, go! That's a lot of damage. She dodged that. Alright, in this situation... So Roland doesn't have res earrings, so we're gonna have to retreat with him. Dude, he badly needs that accuracy thing, but that's like really the only thing he needs. Just run through this fire, I guess. Here I come. Oh wait. We can do one of these. Just gotta do it. Let's see. Alright, I can't push that one off. What I should do though is just basically this. Oh, okay, she can't be brave. She can heal herself, though. She can do one of these. So you don't always need to use be brave. Obviously, you can use, like, a healing item. That's totally fine. Fury. I love that. Um, probably kill this. Ah, oh, didn't kill him. Alright, Piccolotto. <laughs> Spam them items, baby. What's he doing? Okay. Prepare yourself. Alright, I'm gonna aggro this. Very well then. Good. <laughs> now what to do? Okay, we might as well flip this. How's this? The situation is grim. Everyone's a healer of the game. <laughs> you say the worry. It's ridiculous. Like everything is so good. Alright, we got a dude who wants people to come at him. Their mage is out, so... We can just kind of do this. Never. No, my horses! <laughs> she tanked lose. that. <laughs> That's awesome. I can kill this guy, I guess. I can kill that horse, too. I can actually just throw a stone at him. I don't even have to stab him. It's a large thunderstone. He's dead. Too obvious. <laughs> Dude, Anna's insane. Some of these units are crazy. Okay, so Hasabara has a res earring still. We might as well kill this. Let's kill this guy over here. 
this guy. I could have just double stoned him, I didn't have to use a large. Alright, Hasabara is coming up. That'll be the last turn. I can blind this guy too. <laughs> it's like. Okay. Uh, she's. Sorry, she has res earring. I could be brave and it's probably fine. I can body block and decoy. And that's a free decoy because I'm not using a battery at all. Piccolotta's high dodge rate, so if that enemy even hits her, like, it's pretty low chance even hits her. In this type of team comp, Hasabara is kind of forced to be the healer, but if you ran a healer, she could probably get away with doing yeah, something else. Alright, so with Grama, you don't want her back exposed. Obviously. <laughs> oh shit. I hit over, but I didn't do it, so that's unfortunate. Uh, we can kill this guy, though. And then block her back. She also needs ice. That's the other thing. I'll just hawk dive this guy. I will end this. For you. For you. You won't beat me. All right, then Eridor can do Eridor things. The, ma the enemy mage should attack him too. Oh no, enemies. There's all these fucking birds. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Did you see that? Let the show begin. Alright, we gotta deal with these birds, man. There's entirely too many birds. Time to take flight. From this victory is ours. A wasted effort. <laughs> he really wanted to kill that. Decoy there. Alright, so these things are going to go after her. Uh, but one thing she could do... I can push this back. Stay out of my way. Oh, that actually sucked. <laughs> I wanted to be next to it to get the chip heals, but whatever. She has res earring. I didn't realize her thing pushes her forward a square. What do we want to do here? Probably just fury this. Very well then. Me too. You I have you now. She's getting pretty low. Oh, I didn't use the evasion item either on her. Let's play. She's on ice, but the enemies aren't. All right, desperate evasion. Her evasion's 93. That's pretty good. Uh, we can flip this guy, very likely. Time to work. Mm. I, will even do I think this makes the most sense. Killing this. That's that's Aridor's big threat. Rust wings. <laughs> he's. Oh, he just waited? Come on, dude. He's lazy. This looks good. I will go through if I must. <laughs> Let the show begin. All right, here we go. Disney's Grama on ice. <laughs> Jesus, dude. How dare you? You're blinded. 
take you on. I'll be your shield. Hell yeah. <laughs> this is so broken. Like everything's good. I'm running like three or four fewer units, and we're doing fine. I would say. This ain't pretty. All right. Clearly, she needs to heal Grama. The thing is, if I do the follow-up attack spam thing, like I'm literally better off just doing throwing a stone here and killing things, and then just like tracking. A wasted effort. <laughs> Life magic, huh? Oh no, Groma died! <laughs> no! I mean, the back attack, it's plus 20 accuracy. What are you gonna do? I exposed her back. That was a misplay of Grama. Uh, but you get the idea. Most units are really good. Uh, I didn't mitigate Grama's downside. She needs, like, a get out of jail free card just in case she actually does get hit. Um, but Hasabara, she's totally fine. She still has res. Uh, you can position her pretty crazily. But if I just would have had, like, Gila, obviously we wouldn't have all these low health units and stuff. And Hasabara could focus more on offense. Uh, but yeah, that's it for Hasabara. Definitely like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And peace.